spoil everything like two seconds ahead, aren't you? Get that out of the way. Yeah, I will. It's time to suit up and step into the containment zone. Here's a deeper look at Rainbow Six Extraction. Remember when they uh, came out, what was it, like two years ago? And they're like, we're going to do a PvE version of this game called Rainbow Six Outbreak. Or Quarantine. No, it was Quarantine. And then it never happened, right? Yeah, because the fucking pandemic happened. So it's not like they could release a game that's like that. Like, that they would have had a lot of backlash. I think this is. I think this is uh, the remnants of that. Yeah, I was just about to say. Because uh... they're doing some quarantine stuff right that now. That's oh, wow, like like the um, the one from Control, like the main lady from Control. Oh yeah, I see that. I thought they said RE6 extraction, and I was like, <laughs> why is Re Ubisoft doing a Resident Evil spinoff game? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? When you hear the word extraction, I think of Resident Evil as well. Mm -hmm. This is what happens after the Division 2, right? Can't stop the mutation, yes. and so... They become Wait. zombies. The Division is... Tom mutated Clancy. people? Um, there's a there's like an outbreak. There's a pandemic, and they oh. bring you in to like bring order and like make sure everyone's still following the law and stuff. Okay. Yeah, this <clears throat> this feels like Rainbow Six just jumping the shark. <laughs> jumping the zombie Remember? shark. Yeah, really. Remember when Rainbow Six was like tactical stuff? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I get it. There's enough of those. Yeah, I know. But still. That's like what their Ghost Recon... Oh, these guys are straight up Resident Evil. Can't wait till you see this shit. Oh, now we have Apex. Is it a legend? <laughs> I don't know. He looks pretty uh, legendary to me. <laughs> Shoot it. They just don't care anymore. That looked like literally anything. Like there's nothing that ties it to Rainbow Six, you know? If you told me this was another uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, I'd believe you. Right. A Ubisoft original. <laughs> it's important to know. Mm. Now I know you must have a ton of questions after seeing that trailer. If Not really. Answers, Sweet. A full gameplay, full gameplay walkthrough. So hang tight. But we um, wanted. My name is Richard. I'm your resident community developer. I mean, maybe save that for not your conference. <laughs> save it for the after show. That's why Nintendo does the treehouse stuff. For like three hours afterwards, they can get their announcements out of the way, and then have the the more coverage. Yeah. Look, it even says R six extraction at the top right. Yeah. Extraction is a one to three player co op experience. You might think you know. Just put an E in front of the R, and there you go. Right, that would be really easy to confuse. Resident Evil Six Extraction. You're coming together to face an unprecedented, evolving alien threat. Some of the operator's abilities, gadgets, okay. and tech should feel familiar. I forgot to update players, Sully's name. But this time, as you progress, <laughs> he was Tyler. Game, you'll unlock new ability <laughs> upgrades and a whole new arsenal 
specifically designed to take on this new threat. Solyler. So the operators we just saw in that trailer are very familiar. Uh, this is not a good start. She got captured. Nope. In extraction, you're always putting it all on the line. If your teammate falls during an incursion, you're going to go missing in action. You can't play MIA operators until they're safely recovered. You and your squad are going to have to come back together to get I think this is the furthest they've ever gone out. in this direction for Res or not Resident Evil. Um, <laughs> Resident Evil. <laughs> Rainbow Six. It might as well be Resident Evil. Yeah. Stay on your toes and wait every move you make. Balancing that risk and reward scenario is going to be tough. Oh, wait. They said aliens. What? It's not a mutation, it's aliens. Who are they? they okay. Where do they come from? They evolved like form of a parasite. The Archings are evolved form of the parasite. That was parasite. Few years ago, during the Sorry, I'm ahead of you guys, but... So... But a lot changed since. Yeah, they're not aliens then, it's a parasite. It's an alien parasite. Oh, okay. See, I was thinking parasite isn't like just a like a chemical thing that mutated, so which would within the content sure. zone be, you know, earth based. Understandable. Yeah. yeah. So I guess the pandemic was started by an alien parasite? Well, in the division, it was started by terrorists that yeah. capitalized on Black Friday. Oh, so this isn't the same. Gotcha. Maybe it's... I don't think so. I thought maybe they were trying to retcon it because they're like, an actual pandemic happened. Maybe we should... Uh, distance hey, ourselves. guys, aliens. It's not a pandemic anymore. Oh. <laughs> uh. Man, this is wild. So that means they can make future Tom Clancy games with aliens in it. Division 2 will have aliens. Stop. I mean, they're still supporting the game, they said. Yeah, they are. I wonder if we'll, we'll, we'll see anything for that. They're going to go into a basement and, like, uncover oh, Pandora's why box. Why is it so fuzzy? Weird. He's got a fuzzy face. No, not the face. The animation. <laughs> but, like, it's stuttering on my monitor, but not on no. Streamlabs. So it's kind of weird. That's funny. It's fine for me. It's like my refresh rate is off or something. A Ubisoft original. <laughs> I thought you were joking about that. No. Come on, you're ahead of me. I guess Ubisoft original, they, it's, like, not based on any of the books. Probably. Although they haven't been based on the books in a long time, right? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't read books. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot you don't know how to read. That's on me. That's why I skip all the, the cutscenes and stuff. I can't, I can't read. I mean, there's voice acting now. That's good. Operator abilities to complete objectives, assist each other, and obliterate our keys in their way. I guess I'm just gonna watch this on my Streamlabs feed because it's really choppy over here. Weird. Let me move this over here and see if it still does it. That's a grunt. Easy for a nest to incubate and bring to life. Not so easy to. I don't know if it's my monitor or what. Converge on location. Nice. Uh, did you guys know that Opera, the browser, has a gaming version of it? No. It's weird. That is weird. Did not. Like, there's really no difference. You can, like, adjust the, the RAM in the CPU. That's about it. Like, how much resources it takes. Mm. I mean, Opera's, Opera is pretty resource heavy, so that's kind of nice, actually. Really? I think Opera is the least resource intensive. It used to be super resource heavy. But now it's Google. Oh, you can shoot the crap. Weird. I don't understand why it spreads like that. Like you're killing one spot and then it just kind of swoop. Yeah. The contrast helps to better identify targets. Yeah. Like this is a neat take on like an alien invasion game. Right. But it doesn't need to be uh 
Last approach to Rainbow down. Six. Yeah. Hold on. I'm messing with stuff live here. Yeah, I guess Ubisoft's just afraid of like going off Tom Clancy because it makes them so much money. But yeah. It's on the right screen. What are you doing? Ammo, go! Yeah, okay. That was weird. It gives me that, uh, back for blood fuel. That was close. Huh, it's still stuttering. Yeah, it's just. Like not as much. Not as much action. I don't know why it's doing this. So I don't care about this trailer, so I'm trying to figure out the technical difficulties. Because it's not showing up on the stream, so it's fine. But it's bothering me. <laughs> and that matters more. It's just the refresh. You're not missing a whole lot, so... Well, yeah, I switched monitors, and, like, it's still... It's still stuttering. And you can clearly see where, like, the Six Siege stuff comes in. Mm -hmm. Like the doors, the, the sure things the move, you cover up, yeah. Movement speed, yeah. That's your target. It just feels weird that it's against yeah. aliens. That's the that's the thing that differentiates it. Rainbow Six has always been very like realistic. Even when it was future, it was still realistic, like militarized yeah. future. Yeah, I was a big fan of the Vegas games. Those were really cool. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty much the only one I played was, what is it, Future Wars? Uh, uh, Tom Clancy... Oh, I know what you're talking about. Future Recon? I don't know. Yeah. That's Ghost Recon, isn't it? Yeah. No, yeah. Future War. Yeah. Yeah, Future War was pretty cool. It had really cool gadgets and stuff in it. Yeah. And, I mean, to be fair, the only reason I got it was because it was, like, kind of, you know, sci-fi-ish. So, I mean, this does interest me more than any other Tom Clancy game has. <laughs> but I still don't care. <clears throat> it's like they're trying to do tactical Halo. They call them the Archies. <laughs> We gotta take out Archies in the game. <laughs> then there's some that are Betty and Veronica, and there's uh, um, Jughead. Yeah, Jughead is the perfect like enemy type name, right? <laughs> the lurker. There's some that travel in groups, and they're called Josie and the Pussycats. Oh wow. It makes them invisible. Well, that should be fun. Yeah, those are, the, those are the pussycats. The ones that... <laughs> the Josie invisible. turns the pussycats invisible. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, ben and I were playing um, Monster Hunter last mm -hmm. night, and we fought this monster that goes invisible. It was like a chameleon. Oh, cool. It was pretty cool. And then we turned it into a sword that goes invisible. <laughs> like you do. <laughs> What's the point of an invisible sword? I feel like you just lose it if you put it down. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it's cool. <laughs> hey, where'd I put my invisible sword? I can't find- <laughs> And then you trip and impale yourself. <laughs> it was right here. It goes through your hand. <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I don't like the fact that you have to rescue the operatives in order to use them. <laughs> Hang tight. Not a lot of other options. I don't like that, like, that classic Rainbow Six animation of, like, you, you know, grab them and then slit their stomachs. Because <laughs> you don't see anything. Like, it's... This looks a little rough, graphically. Operators, time to unite and stand together against this emerging threat. I'm kind of ready for games to drop last gen. After playing through yeah. some of uh, Ratchet and Clank, like, 
It's How amazing. Is it, by the way, oh, it's so good. But it's amazing what you can do when you don't have to cater to the last consoles. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I was sad to see with God of War being on both, but mm -hmm. I understand sales. Yeah, I feel like they did it with Ratchet and Clank because, like, it's fairly safe. Like, it doesn't need, you know, big sales. Um. <clears throat> This year, let's turn it up to hey, Rocksmith. See what's next for Rocksmith. Oh, sorry. Oh, cool. But like they also no, know I, that I, I'm on time with you. So. They know that Ratchet and Clank is enough to uh, sell consoles, but mm -hmm. it's not like something that everyone will be mad if they can't play. Yeah, no, I agree. I yeah. am interested in seeing how well it sells with just being a PS5. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people are hard up for Ratchet and Clank games. No, I think this one looks fantastic, and I've been hearing nothing but good things about it, so I was like... Oh, yeah. Awesome. It's, like, knowing the stuff that's still to come, it's very possibly going to be my game of the year. <laughs> okay. And I could totally agree with that, too, because, like, just the way it looks, like, seeing the trailers, I'm like, all right, this game looks really good and really polished. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, it helps that uh, I just, like, I replayed the Ratchet & Clank PS4 reboot, like, a few, like, beginning of the year, I think, like, right around the time after I got my PS5, mm. and then I just played through all seven of the other games, so, like, you know, leading up to this one. Yeah. So I've had a very Ratchet & Clank-focused year. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. No. This is cool. I like the idea of, like... Rocksmith that you can take anywhere. Like, rather than it being a, a standalone game. Yeah. And Rocksmith was, like, stuck on the 360 era. Yeah. I think. Because, like, it uses real instruments, so there's no reason you have to tie it to, a, like, a console game. Mm-hmm. It's still a really cool property for people that want to learn an instrument, though. Yeah, I wanted to keep... Like, I think I still have my tuner. That I can attach to my PC, maybe, and it'll hmm. still work. Yeah, it looked like that's all it was. Like, the game is in the tuner. Mm hmm. But it looks like you can do it through an app now. Mm hmm. That's Anywhere. Cool. It's a smart move. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a great way data. to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of a weird thing to announce here, but, <laughs> I mean, it's it's very unique, at least. Yeah, it is. Uh, they don't need to spend any more time on it, though. Yeah, I know, right? Like, all he had to show was that, and like, yeah. everyone would be happy. And now we're going to spend another 10 minutes talking about how much I love music and sharing it with you. I have a feeling Ubisoft doesn't have much to show. Like, they would do their whatever their you play things like the past like year. They had, what, two of them? when they showed off, like, Far Cry and stuff. So yeah. it's like, them having an E3 was kind of, like, a little odd, in my opinion. Or mobile device. Agreed. And, like, the, the fact that they've spent so much time on that last game and now they're doing a deep dive on Rocksmith, which is a very specific audience of people. I think Mario and Rabbids is going to be their big reveal, and that was our. I was going to say, yeah. you think Leaked. it's going to be here? No extra gear needed. It's a game I don't know. I think they'll, I think they'll bring uh, Miyamoto out and like have him introduce it, and then it'll also get shown at Nintendo's conference. Mm. Like probably Treehouse, not the actual conference. But. We'll still have the note for note authentic arrangements for players that want to play songs. Exactly you guys ever play Rocksmith? Mm -mm. Played I don't have a guitar. Well, we'll a no, I don't have a guitar. I used to. I was trying to remember Crystal cool had it. Keep yeah. that portion of the My dad has a collection now. So like, ever since he's oh, yeah. retired, he just like <laughs> collects guitars. That's cool. I always wanted to learn, and I just and I couldn't I couldn't get my fingers on like I have fairly small hands. Yeah. Um, same. And I had a hard time like stretching my fingers out that way. <clears throat> and my fingers don't always work as they should. Anymore. music in here that you can you play. That's neat. We'll have music yeah. from all over the world from big stars to indie darlings. It's the most diverse song library. But like, you know, I've been playing Fuser, so this still scratches mm -hmm. niche in a yeah. fun way. Like adaptive difficulty. 
and riff repeater, which let you practice and learn at your own pace or slow down and repeat. I wish they would do something like this where, like, I, I know the appeal is to use real instruments and stuff, but I wish they would, like, sell the tuner with a fake guitar <laughs> so that you can, like, you know, still play the, the songs, but you don't have to actually know how to play a guitar. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's just Guitar Hero at that point. But, like, For the more casual audience. Right. Like, what's wrong with having the peripheral, you know? Offer a better yeah. sense of how you're improving <clears throat> Probably just, like, tons more work. Will be happy to yeah. We're it's, like, another two years that's working on that stuff. That's true. That way you could take advantage of Rocksmith Plus's... And it seems library, like this is very technical, so you just... You wouldn't familiar, get enough, like, tone, function out of the... To uh, the buttons, probably. A chance ...to participate in our closed beta right after the show. Visit our website at rocksmith.com to get an early look at Rocksmith Plus and help us test and create the future of music learning. Thank you so much to the amazing fans who have he, enjoyed he's very and supported Rocksmith over the gesticulating. Let's jam together with Rocksmith Plus yeah? for another. He moves test. his hands a lot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Register now for a chance to play the Rocksmith Plus beta. I like how these two basically host everything Someone's Ubisoft. I assume they work for them. Flowing, like uh, I don't know. <laughs> or they just really like them. Because <clears throat> Yusuf's done stuff with Kind of Funny before, and I think he might work for Ubisoft, but I don't remember for sure. Riders Republic? Oh, okay? this is the thing they showed off in the pre-show. Oh, is this the... I don't know if I saw this in the pre-show. No. They, yeah, they showed it like a clip. I was thinking this is like the rollerball I, I thing. Been not paying attention. Is it what they're doing instead of the crew? This is the <laughs> uh, it's the extreme sport version of the crew. Okay. That's kind of neat, though. I like extreme sports way more than regular sports. You guys see all the crazy shit they're doing? Like, there was a jet... Like, there was like a ski. Like a snow ski. Thing. Hmm. Stay stylish. And there's like hang gliding or something? Yeah. It's like a little bit everything. Yeah. Stay on top. This kind of reminds me of when uh, Tony Hawk jumped the shock. Shark. <laughs> Tony Hawk jumped the shock and uh, like introduced bikes and like roller skates and stuff. Mm -hmm. Snowboarding. You guys ever play Steep? No. I played a little bit of it. I, I think played it was on... tricky. But I think it was on Plus, wasn't it? There for a little bit. It was. They were giving. They gave it away for free at one point. Yeah, I. I think I own it, but I haven't played it. I like it. I always grab the free games just in case. Same. Oh my God! Now I don't want to play this. Why? The map is massive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is pretty sick though, this mountain biking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love the like the aesthetic of this. We should get Ben to play this so he can just barf everywhere. Oh no. <laughs> That's mean. I assume you don't have to be first person. No, but <laughs> the camera was just super shaky. Mm -hmm. Now, some might say the best parts of the Republic can be found in the city playground. So this is just a narrator, right? It's not a shoutcaster? Yes. Okay. Because it's that style of game, but it kind of, he's not, like, super obnoxious or anything, so I couldn't tell. Maybe you're all about living on the edge. Yeah, he's not over the top. Either way, to progress, you gotta earn those stars. Oh my god, are you kidding <laughs> this me? Is all, this is awesome. What is this? Uh, is this Death Stranding? <laughs> Director's cut? <laughs> it's uh, the Trials HD 2. Rocket hang gliders? Yeah, man, why not? Okay, this is actually pretty awesome. Alright, I get it. Sometimes you just want to explore and bathe in nature. He has a helicopter on his back? Yeah, he's like a wind propeller. Hmm. That's right. That seems dangerous. Everything you do count. Getting those stars means. It looks like they took the um the, the Forza Horizon 
uh, template and just put it to extreme sports. Kinda. What if it's the same map? <laughs> when I looked at the map, it looked like it. Or I guess Forza's not Ubisoft. No, that's Xbox. There is so, so oh, jeez. More stunts. So many people, I'm just like expecting them all to like hit each other and wipe out. I haven't seen any skateboards yet. I'm wondering if they're not wanting to mess with that. You have everything but skateboards. Right, that's why it's weird. I think there was a food stand there at one point. Oh my god. What this, in the world? This looks fun. This looks fun. <laughs> yeah. This would be a great, like, online game. Yeah. Oh my god. Jeez. This would be a great VR game if they could ever do it. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> the first person stuff would be a lot better. Like, actually <laughs> holding the controllers out, like, as, as bike handles. Mm -hmm. That'd be pretty cool. Rocket bikes! You just, con you just constantly fall. Man. Second of looks, September. Looks neat, but yeah. I highly doubt I'll ever play it, but Yeah. I don't it looks know. awesome. I don't I I'll probably won't buy it. I'll just wait for a sale. Or... Oh yeah, I never buy Ubisoft games new. Okay. So you've seen I'll get it when it's twenty dollars like a month later. Alien parasite. But how's their day job going? You know, ever since Crimson Heist, we're still trying to clear all those pesky floras drones off the maps. Year six is what? Up to a back, back to Siege, let's go. Oh, that was like a like a game joke, I guess. If you haven't joined in yet, 2021 is the perfect time to drop in. Yeah, they're talking about the season. I I I hate that everything is a season now. Mm-hmm. Cause they have to get you in during that time. You don't want to miss it. Yeah. It's just so annoying. Agreed. So today is all about sharing quality of life developments that will dramatically improve. It's mostly annoying when there's like content locked behind the season that you can never get again. Yeah. Oh boy, Stadia. <laughs> Finally, the two people playing on Stadia will have someone to play with. As sad as it sounds, I think this Amazon Luna thing might give some rejuvenation to Stadia because, like, you can probably develop, like, for cloud gaming services the same, I would assume. So if it works mm -hmm. on Luna, it'd work on Stadia. So like if Amazon actually cares about their platform and pushes stuff to it, it might help, you know, Stadia as well. Or they'll pay for exclusives and kill Stadia and be the only cloud platform. Who knows? That's probably what will happen. Yeah. Although, I mean, xCloud's going to win anyway. Yeah. yeah. That audience is built in already. Right. From your amazing fan out. The awesome cosplays. The Rainbow Six community is the lifeblood that keeps this game moving forward. We cannot thank you enough for your support. It is because of you that Siege keeps evolving and growing. To wrap up, here's a brand new animated trailer starring Thunderbird, the new defender joining team. Some of the Thunderbirds. Thunderbird. Oh. Oh. We're getting a Rainbow Six Siege anime. I think this is just, just an animated trailer. No, it's, a, it's an anime. We are getting like a Splinter Cell anime though. Did you see that? Uh, No, I didn't. It was a random announcement a few days ago. I think it was uh, during the Netflix Geeked Week. Oh. Uh, it's an anime going to Netflix. Yeah. So we're going to get an anime, but we're not going to get a new game. We'll see. It's Ubisoft, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Listen, I need to get this bird in the air. You try to get some rest. I mean, it's on the bingo card. 
What? <laughs> What's happening? Shh. Shh. This is kind of a nice animation, though. Yeah, it's different than a lot of the other stuff. Mm -hmm. Remember when they made that arc, like cartoon? Vaguely. With Vin, Di when Vin, with Vin Diesel. Oh yeah. Wasn't that the actually like the announced arc two though? It, but also are the, they, are uh, they... the game. Yeah, arc two game and also the arc two anime. Oh actually, yeah, yeah. yeah, I do. Yeah. I do remember that. Yeah. I just remember the game. I forgot that there was an anime they tied to it too. And I think they both have Vin Diesel in it. Yeah. I think the anime is like explaining the story of the game or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's weird. All right, that's it, everyone. Really? Well, yeah, this is the wrap up uh, pack. I thought it was an hour. I'm just, I was, I'm just joking. Oh, okay. That's what it feels like, though. This is, I guess, just a sizzle reel of games we already know about. Or the pre pre show stuff. Cause I don't remember this For Honor sequel. They showed off some For Honor stuff in the pre-show. Oh, okay. <clears throat> wow, they're they're going. Like, oh my god, you can bounce off the water. They're going what? Fall Guys with Trackmania. I mean, Trackmania was Fall Guys before Fall Guys. Fair. Just saying the art style. Yeah. I mean, Team NT is a perfect fit for Brawl Hollow, but it is that game is so dumb now. I don't even care. I don't even know what it is anymore. <laughs> like we played the crap out of that game in beta. Alpha, whatever. Jay's in chat, by the way. Hi, Jay. Hi, Jay. Played some Monster Hunter with them earlier today. Nice. Oh, and you were streaming it? Mm hmm. Yeah, there's Aiden Pearson watching. My name is Wrench. I use a hammer. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> this is my friend Hammer. He uses a wrench. <laughs> Hopefully, we, uh, the yeah, I was actually playing this earlier. Sorry. Um, yeah, I was playing. I was playing this earlier, and they had that teammate update, so you can actually upgrade your teammates' like skill level and just make them better than they were. We are happy to announce that there are still many more surprises. So I guess they're doing more stuff with Ghost Recon. There was a picture of Sam Fisher. <laughs> yeah, he was in yeah. the. Uh, yeah. He's in everything except his own game. Right. Exactly. Just Dance has always been about connecting with friends and oh, Just Dance, really? Good company, Woo! I mean, of course. I mean, that should have been on the bingo card. Easy. Yeah, we should have that. Ubisoft, <laughs> yeah. you're going to expect something uh, Just I mean, Dance. I just don't see why they take time out of E3 for it. E3, okay. Um, Nowadays, probably. But back in the day, they used to do all the dance uh, numbers and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's true. They had that. I guess they it's always like the... take time out of E3 yeah. for Just Dance. Hello, my name is Todd Recall, and I'm a singer. I always look forward to those because those were like weird and cool. I am super excited to announce that my song Nell's Hair Hip is going to be a part of Just Dance 2022. <laughs> I like how we just all just stop talking and just look. <laughs> like what? Oh no. For the first time ever, you can't take your eyes off. I mean, Todrick Hall was a lot. Look. <laughs> so are those pink gloves. They look like they should be used to clean a kitchen, but I guarantee they're like $1,000 each. If not more.
respect yeah. their individuality in such a fun way. Just Dance has transformed <laughs> millions of lives, and I hope that this song brings you all so much joy. Whether you're dancing alone or with a group, to work out, or just to have fun, it's going to be a great time, and I can assure you, you will not just play, you will absolutely slay. The new lyrics were handcrafted specifically for Just Dance. Is it because they had to censor the song? Full of sass because, you know, they were written by Probably. Yours, truly. But I guarantee they are going to get... I wasn't sure so if he was meaning that, like, the song... And now it's been Just dance ...is new for the game, but I don't, I don't think that's right. He said it was rewritten for the song, for the game. So, yeah. I don't know. So I guess I, it's I don't a new version of a song he already released. Yeah, I haven't listened to any of his stuff, so... I didn't know those like I've seen like some of the videos of like song parodies and stuff like the Disney stuff um, but I didn't know that the, you know like actual music it's got a good beat to it yeah yeah this is the first time it's not coming to Wii right I guess so yeah it's coming to Stadia though mm. There you go. That would be awful. <laughs> Cloud gaming with a dancing game? It's time to get our like, you, you put it on your phone. And like you're like, uh, wait, I, I, what do I do with my hands? <laughs> I don't play, yeah. I slay. <laughs> they said that they weren't going to make another Assassin's Creed. They're going to like focus on working on this for the time being. That's a shame. Which, I mean, I guess I'm fine with, but... As long as the next one's better, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, Odyssey, I think they did support for a few In years, but it was great, supposedly. We released great, yeah, Odyssey. Uh, yeah, was... Odyssey is fantastic. It was the biggest it's probably one of the best games I've ever played. Dang. But I'm not, I'm not going to go that far. It's the definitely the best the Assassin's Creed game I've played, but I don't know about the best yeah. game I've ever played. It's, I said one of. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I always have to put in that qualifier, you know. Because then you can say it as many times as you want. Exactly. I do actually need to beat this game, though. Hmm. I just had a hard time caring. Yeah. I thought I would. Not but... good. The story's not good. Yeah. Also, I don't like the voice actor for either gender. Hmm. Like either Eivor. They sound like they have a, like something stuck in their throat. Like both of them. <laughs> well, the guy sounds too feminine, but the, like the feminine, the female sounds pretty good. Like good enough. It's really raspy. Yeah. I just hated the loot system in this game. Mm -hmm. Oh, the loot system was so boring. And the skill tree was completely horrible. Like, yeah. Like you had to go out and find skills. Yeah, that was bad. Of like leveling, instead yeah. of leveling up. Yeah. Yeah. Because the and world's the not system... interesting enough to explore to make you forced to go find all your skills. Yeah. And the loot system was like. As soon as you get this one thing, that's kind of it. You just upgrade that one thing. Pretty much. I mean, I do kind of like, like, I hate constantly swapping out your gear. when, you, Like, especially when you find something you like. But, yeah, I think they went a little bit too far in the opposite direction. Yeah. I think Odyssey kind of touched a really good area. There's a lot of really interesting weapons, but, like, I didn't force, was, like, forced, okay, I need to use this now. I could keep this item on me. Yeah, and you can upgrade it. And... Yeah. Taking place in war-torn Francia, you'll have to do everything in your power. I mean, the Greeks are very good at touching you in a in a good way. So. <laughs> I think there was more love options in uh, Odyssey than there were in uh, whatever this is. Oh, the Hala. Yeah. Vikings are fighters, not lovers. But they are poets. It's true. That that system is a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, that's was, that was probably the most fun I had with it. Mm -hmm. Watch out for the siege of Paris coming this summer. This stream brought to you by Pepsi Blue. Is it Pepsi Blue? Yeah. On the exploration of uh, it's gone now. But, yeah. Thank God. Tour will be this Pepsi Blue is great. I missed it. Uh, it tastes like cough syrup, dude. 
What? You taste like cough syrup. You don't know that. That's true. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> but no, I love. I mean, it, it's. I feel like it's more syrupy now than it used to be, like when it first came out. But I also just might be, you know, more. Uh, like I, I don't really drink soda anymore, so like trying this for you. might be too much. That is, congrats. I'm gonna take a sip of my Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I mean, Pepsi Blue has kind of sent me on a downward spiral because I missed it. Um, but I make a habit to not drink soda. Wow, they're working on expansions for next year for this. Huh. Did you guys go and do the other dimension stuff? No. Um, a little bit, but yeah. the one part for me was actually like it was broken. I couldn't really. Yeah, I couldn't go into it. So after I left, I never went back. After it like, was so boring, man. I hated that place so much. <laughs> like getting around was a pain in the ass. But we also have news uh, about movies and TV series. There was like really no reason to do it. Are You're talking about with like uh, the the god Midgar, yeah, yeah Midgar or whatever. I don't think it was Midgar. I think it was Asgard. Yeah, Asgard. Yeah. Midgar, I think she's got a word. <laughs> oh, Green Inferno. Oh boy. Oh God. What's Green Inferno? Uh, it's a movie about cannibals. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Okay. Speaking of movies. No, this is a show. Oh. This is the show that makes me wish I had Apple Apple TV Plus or whatever it's called. Because it's supposed to be really good, and it looks like a lot of fun, and I love the cast. Is this Mythic Quest? Wait, what? Yeah, Mythic Quest. Okay. Maybe I'll just torrent the show sometime. <laughs> just straight up say, yo, I'm stealing this shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's Apple. I don't care about them. That's him, officer. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't implicate myself, huh? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Why is his camera so bad? He's at home, man. Leave him alone. He is a celebrity. Just using his laptop that he hasn't upgraded. Huh. Oh, jeez. Why are we getting... TV? Ubisoft yeah. has a film and TV de department now, so they have to remind you of that fact. It's the AT&T girl! I love her. <laughs> she was in a lot of really good stuff for a while, and then she disappeared, and then started doing AT&T ads again. And now she's doing this. Is Werewolves Within like a car, like a party game? One of what? Mm, maybe. No. Yeah. A what? A werewolf. Oh, I have seen films. The roads are huh. I've heard of them. Yeah. I mean, IFC Films does really good stuff, actually. There's a dead body under your yeah, take a step above Hallmark. No. I said a step above. Oh, based on the popular video game. All right. <laughs> You've never heard of. Maybe it's not oh, an I... actual video game. Out of curiosity, who is packing? I thought it was just like one of those games that you play at parties where like one of them is the werewolf. And you no, I mean, like... there is one just called Werewolf. Okay. Not gonna lie, I'll probably still watch this. The cast is great. It's a lot of who's who of TV people. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. Follow Mythic On demand July 2nd, alright. And be sure to catch Werewolves Within this summer. In theaters or on your on-demand platforms. No hero story is complete without a great rival to match them. After all, even the most Far Cry. Oh, that makes sense. When it comes to memorable villains, no one does it better. I kind of forgot about Far Cry already. <laughs> yeah, I, I expected we would see some Far Cry Six here. I'm probably just gonna play this game just because of Gus. 
That's true. I don't even call him by his actor name. I just call him Giancarlo Gus. Esposito. It's yes. a great name. But Gus is so much more rememberable. Mm. Oh yeah, and I forgot that he was in the boys too, like season two. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, he's in this. This is good. That's a pretty good new Beat Saber pack that's <clears throat> dropping. What's it got? Uh, it's got Counting Stars by One Republic, uh, DNA by Kendrick Lamar, mm -hmm. Doncha by the Pussy Cat Dolls, uh, Party Rock Anthem by LMFAO. All right. Uh, Roland by Limp Biscuit. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, Sugar by Maroon Five, and The Sweet Escape by Gwen Stefani. Now, which version of Roland is it? Air Raid Vehicle. Does that help? Uh, I think it's the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah, I did. I think it is. Probably the censored one. No, wait, no, this isn't the one I was thinking of. I'll have to grab that pack. I got a uh, like a ten dollar uh, Oculus Store credit, and I checked to see if there was any new Beat Saber stuff. But there wasn't yet. Before he was El Presidente, me papa loved him. I love this. He's so good. We would go out on a boat, just like this. And we would catch the He's so unique. Talk. Yeah. They always have him like talk about a story from his past and like relate it to what's happening. Mm -hmm. He's really good in comedies too. Yeah. Like he's he's a crazy dude. Is it just me or does this not look great? It's fine. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like, the lighting is <clears throat> off. <laughs> the faces look kind of. They put the shiny? effort into the models that matter. Yes, that's the song that says roll and roll and roll and roll. <laughs> To bring you home. We have yet to see any actual gameplay from this game. No choice. Like, who do you play as? Let them go. Uh, you can play the, as a person. The kid? Um, what what version was it again? Urban assault vehicle or air air assault? Raid. Air, air, air raid vehicle. Okay. Urban assault vehicle is the version you want. It's got DMX, Red Man, Method Man in it. I didn't know there was a difference. Yeah, there's two versions. For his people, these fish we will catch and release. No, but you're right. You don't know who you're playing as. We know so I, little. I assume it's gonna be the kid, like growing up and like coming back to kill his dad or something. Oh, that could be. Yeah. But that's just an assumption. We've that's only not... seen the kid stuff. Yeah, like him with the kid. Yeah. I think they did an exposition, like like a uh, interview or something, like a while back. I guess I that like the story is supposed to be pretty cool, and they're trying to keep it a secret. But yeah, passed down to his son Diego as he grooms him to become the future ruler of Yara. The most important part of crossing. <laughs> I like how they just lo like grabbed onto like the villains are cool. Let's make yep. the heroes lame. Well, didn't they do that with like Far Cry 4 or something? And that's the last one that did really well. Yeah. Three or four? Yeah. I don't know. Five, five was pretty forgettable. Unfortunately. And Primal. Don't forget Primal. Primal, everyone forgot Primal about. was more rememberable. I finished Primal. Oh. I really? Finished I, didn't, I, didn't even, I didn't even touch that. Yeah. What was the one after Primal? Was that like New Dawn? <clears throat> that was oh. after. Five. Primal was before five, I think. Yeah. Okay. It was after four. A very special day for Far Cry fans. Yeah. Then they like use like basically the same map from like one of the Far Cries for Primal. I think it was the same as four. They just made it like 
Olden times. Prehistoric. Yeah. Olden times. <laughs> That's it. It is time to see the other side. And then New Dawn did the same thing for five. I haven't even launched New Dawn and I own it. To find a way out. <laughs> a way out. I thought this was Ubisoft. It's it's ja no not jazz. It's the villains. What? Tell your mother and sister to... Are they tying all the villains together? Like, uh, what the heck? Wait, is that? What is happening? Is that the hero from three? I think there's a villain from three. What the fuck? What? No, like Vaz, but like the guy that he taught, like he said. Oh, I, I don't know. I have no idea what's happening. <clears throat> Remember when they made Far Cry uh, Blood Dragon? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was wild. Oh. Is this a test? Oh, is this their BR version? <laughs> Maybe. That'd actually be kind of. It seems like everyone's a villain. Like you tie in all the maps and all like that you can play as the villains. It's called Far Cry. Oops, all villains. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, these that kills, is the hero though. from three. He reversed it on him. What, Far Cry 6 season pass? Oh. What? The game hasn't even launched yet, man. Right. And Blood Dragon remastered. I don't like when they announce a season pass for a game that's not out, because it clearly means they're already working on post content. Yeah. Far Cry Blood Dragon was cool. Three Blood Dragon. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's just the same thing. Okay. Yeah, it's Blood Dragon. Yeah. yeah. I didn't realize I was called Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. We're so excited yeah. for you all to check out this next game. What do we I assume here? they're going to have some wait, BR wait, mode in 6. Stop. Uh, here we go. Mark it off. Oh, yeah. The Rabbids at the Ubisoft conference. Suck Mario, it. Mario, but this is Ubisoft. <laughs> That is pretty cool, though. Oh, so he stayed with uh, Princess Peach. Yeah, they're boning. Didn't you know? Okay. <laughs> I never finished this game. I didn't either, but I really enjoyed what I did play. Yeah, it was, it was fine. Little bunny Luma. Yeah. Oh, they're all on the ship. So th I, I saw there's nine total characters in this. And I think okay. there was eight before, weren't there? Because there was Mario, Peach, Luigi, Yoshi, and then the four... Uh... Uh... Bunny versions uh, rab of those. Rabbids, yeah. So I'm guessing not all of them are coming back, and they're also bringing in new ones. That, or they're just adding in the uh, Rosalina Rabbit. That'd be lame. But I also saw like a like a Rabbit Bowser or something on there. Well, you're not gonna play as him. You might. Bowser's been a party member before. Yeah, that's true. Wait, what's the red flying one? Uh, it's a different Luma? Why does Fine. Rabbit Rosalina That's... look like a man? Um Don't don't talk about it. I guess Rabbit Bowser could be the enemy, though. And I also saw that the different, like, uh, Rabbit Lumas give you special abilities. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's why they look different. Is that supposed to be a Rabbit Shy Guy? I think it's an original enemy, but it kind of looks like a Shy Guy. It could be inspired by Shy Guy. Yeah, like the, like the, the cloak definitely is Shy Guy. 
And it looked like uh, Rosalina's little rabid plush that she had was a... Like a link. It had like a stocking cap on it. Hmm. Yeah, that one. Sparks of hope. More like sparks of dope. More like the sparks of nope. Oh! <laughs> All right. I'll give you that one. That was pretty good. <laughs> it's also easier to Photoshop. The whole team is super proud of this new I'm game. sad because they and like it's not live this year, so we can't see the guy crying in the audience when his game mm. gets announced. Oh yeah. It's fair to say that we did something quite surprising with the concept of Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom battle. And for <sighs> this project, we didn't want to stop there. But I think this oh will be god, cooler. Oh my god, that's awesome. Because they they can like have a larger expanse of that is a really cool gun. Um, so they can have a larger expanse well of areas to explore. To unveil our new project, mm. Mario plus Rabbit's Sparks of Hope. We are diving back into the Sparks of Hope with even bigger ambition. Expanding our universe on a major scale. This time so they'll probably bring back galaxy thing. planets. An yeah. Galaxy to save. yeah. That's why Rosaline is there. So, you will yeah. need a brave yet reckless team of unique heroes, including some fresh faces like Rabbit's Rosalina and other surprises. On their okay, so yeah, they're not showing us the all of them yet. The it's probably those, what, five <laughs> and then like four new ones. From planet to planet. They will be facing a powerful villain, Cursor, an enemy unlike anything our heroes no. encountered before. <laughs> but they won't be alone. By their side, they will have their new allies, the Sparks. They're Rabbit Lumas. These Don't. surprising creatures, born from the merge of rabbits. Oh yeah, they're Lumas, Roombas. They land their <laughs> Roombas, <to> yeah. <laughs> their natures. What's a, a rabbit? rabbit is a, is a, it's just a little fuckable bunny. That's all it is. Wait, what? What Whoa. did I? Whoa. <laughs> I wasn't going to go there with that, but. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't mean to. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to say that out loud. <laughs> they were from uh, Rayman, right? Yeah. They started like as a bit character in Rayman. And then they yeah. got their own spin-off game, and now they're everywhere. Yeah. They're basically Ubisoft's minions, but they're, they're actually like, kind of cool. Yeah, they're like cockroaches. <laughs> Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope has big ambitions. It introduces new action elements into the mix that will push the boundaries of tactical games even further. But, like, the gameplay in this thing was solid. So, like, if they're going to evolve it further, I'm actually pretty excited. Yeah. Yet hard to master for those of you that are willing to take Maybe you'll we'll jump back into the last one. And you'll be able to experience I got close to the end. I just got stuck on a boss and it made me mad. I don't even remember where I ended off so long ago. Like that game came out when the Switch was announced, it wasn't it? Uh, a few months after. It yeah. was like August 2017, I think. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah, I didn't really like the kingdom element of it, like just like walking around. Yeah, well, the fact that like it was just kind of branches off of a central hub. Yeah, it was pretty much just a linear path, and you could like go different directions. Mm -hmm. I liked the exploration and like the puzzles and stuff they threw in there. Mm -hmm. So if this expands that more, I think it'll be really cool. I mean, at least we're seeing gameplay. Oh, so it's more like. Like the how turn-based RPGs work, where you see the enemies on the field and run into them. It's not just preset battle arenas. That's neat. Oh, I guess this is a new. Is this? This looks like no. I. Hey, that's an original character. Yeah, that might not be Bowser Rabbit. Yeah, I didn't think it was Bowser Rabbit when hmm. I saw it. That's kind of neat. Miyamoto never lets you have OCs, so. <laughs> Next year. All right. Hopefully. 
Looks solid. So we're not done. No, that did it actually look pretty Let's good. Let's check in with our CEO. At least we saw gameplay. <laughs> Maybe don't check in with this tool bag. <laughs> not right now. Yeah. Hi everyone. As you have seen, we have a fantastic. Hey, uh, where is that uh, Beyond Good and Evil Two you guys are working on? <laughs> what if that's the yeah, the one last thing? Thanks to all the it's gonna be a Splinter Cell. So. For what they achieved. It better be Splinter Cell. Always striving to deliver the best possible game experiences. I'm humbled by their resilience. What's the the square we have for Splinter Cell? Especially during what has been It is just new Splinter Cell. I'm also oh. proud of our industry's ability. Which it technically doesn't say new Splinter Cell game. <laughs> just new Splinter Cell. <laughs> to share memorable experiences. But like the the Netflix show was already announced. We just got like the first footage of it, so I I wouldn't count that. And it wasn't E3. Just shut up. I don't want to hear from you. vibrant. We want to create original, enriching long-lasting game world what's wrong with his hand and your contribution <laughs> feedback and support like he hasn't moved from that position <laughs> we also are proud oh there it is some of the biggest no it's back in entertainment <laughs> trust our creative teams to develop games within their universes for example you just saw mario plus rabbit sparks of hope developed in collaboration with Nintendo. Where I'm looking forward to what they're going to do with this new one, though. Yeah. Because the first one was, like, pretty simple. It was definitely testing the waters of, like, what you can do. Mm -hmm. And it did well, and they got a lot of good feedback. So, yeah, it'll yeah. be cool how they expand the battle system and stuff. Yeah. Like you said, like, there's different elements what, what of the Lumos. About to get, what are we about to get here? <laughs> So he's like, I just want to move on. Beyond Good and Evil 2? Brought to life by the latest version of our Snowdrop engine. I'm excited to share this first look. Mm, first look. I don't, that's probably not. Enjoy. We've had a few World first looks at this exclusive. game. It's got to be something game you don't footage know about. Powered by Snowdrop. <clears throat> Splinter Cell? Birds. Turok. Do they own Turok? Because that's I very possible. Know. I don't think so. I think that's THQ. Yeah. Oh, the Avatar game! Sorry. Oh! I forgot about that. Yeah, I saw people talking about it online. It's like, are we going to see the Avatar game? And it's like, what? I don't remember any of that. Man, Avatar is still a thing, huh? This is going to be their horizon. Yeah. That'd be dope. Like that would actually be good. Supposedly they're filming the sequels now, and then they're showing off game stuff. So it's like, Avatar's back in full swing, I guess. I mean, they haven't stopped filming those, haven't they? They yeah, haven't. No, they, they stopped. They haven't and started they, for a while. No. It's been like filming for like the past few years, maybe now. Yeah, but I mean, the first one came out in like 2010 or something like that. So I thought they uh, were just making them like all at the same time. They are. Okay. Yeah, they are. But I'm saying there was like eight years or so in there when they were just writing them all and stuff, getting technology up to the point. Yep. And this is wild. This looks slick. I mean, I don't Ooh. care about Avatar, but it's wild that Ubisoft's making an Avatar game. I would like to see more of the world of Avatar. That's fair. It could Same. work as a game. I yeah. have not seen the whole movie. I fell asleep during it. I was bored. Yeah, the movie, uh, I don't care. But I like the world that they made, the planet. Yeah. If I wanted to watch Avatar, I'd just watch Fern Gully instead. It's better. At least graphically, this looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Solid. I mean, compare this to Far Cry 6, like... Yeah, uh, that's what, like, I was thinking, <laughs> like... Hopefully this is just next-gen. Yeah. It would but... have to be, right? I mean, they've been working on it for a while, so... Probably yeah. 
I mean, I, I don't see third party going exclusive yet, I guess. Like, to next gen, I mean. Uh, yeah. Like, Insomniac is owned by Sony, so they can do that. Frontiers of Pandora. Hmm. No All console. Right. Nope, uh, nope. Uh, no PS4. Oh, yeah, there no you go. Alright. I'm more interested now, then. Yeah, same. Developing just for next gen means that could be really cool. Hi, Mike, and I agree. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen a little bit more from Far Cry 6, because yeah. we, we still don't really know a whole lot. Yeah, they showed off more from the season pass than the actual game. <laughs> yeah. Avatar oh, looks they're, good. They're putting them all on Uplay, probably? <clears throat> yeah, that would be smart. It should already be on there, right? I don't know. I mean, this is like a like a re like relive the moments thing. I think it's just their uh, UPlay Plus ad or Ubisoft Plus. Oh, it's okay. It's a yeah. Just it's a ad. discount deal. Thanks to Eve and all the devs that joined us to share what's new with Ubisoft. We battled some Arkeans in Rainbow Six Extraction. That wasn't a terrible showcase. No, no, the first the first half was kind of rough. Yeah, but like yeah. there was something for everyone in there. I mean, you get your, you know, your Rainbow Six like military stuff. You get Just Dance, Rocksmith. Um, oh, the post show. Okay. Uh, Mario and Rabbids, like Far Cry. I mean, there was a, a wide range of things in there. Yeah, yeah, I saw someone talking online that they wanted to see the uh, Star Wars game that they were going to be making, but I assume yeah. that's just so early. Oh, yeah. that's, there's nothing it, to show. If probably. anything, I would have wanted to see something about Division 2's next update, or yeah. uh, are there like standalone game? Is it Division like Homestead? Okay, so or whatever their new game is going to be. I love how you bring up this uh, bingo card. All we got here. Well, I just want to make sure. No Splinter Cell. No. Um, you be the rabbits though. Right. So we've got the free space and the rabbits. Is that it? I think so. Do I for no? Okay. If there's anything that can help target an audience... Still early. We still have a few conferences to go. Big ones tomorrow. Yeah. What was it? Xbox and Bethesda? Yep. Get to hopefully see some Starfield. Yeah. I want to see the Indiana Jones thing, but I guess there's still, again, too early to know anything. Yeah, probably. But I am going to actually, if out, I actually need to get ready. And yeah, we're probably going to take off soon. Yep. So, I was yeah, updating exactly. the bingo card. All right. Well, have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. You too. You too. And we'll see everyone uh, later this week. <laughs> Bye. Bye.